And finally, last but not least, is step number seven. So we've seen all these internal diffusion of reactant, external diffusion of reactant. This one here is the absorption of reactant, the reaction of reactant into product, the desorption of the product, the internal diffusion of the product, and right now we're going to see the last step, which is the external diffusion of that product. It's pretty similar to step one. You will probably want to recall that, review it, read it once again. And the diffusion factor of C in B is now the factor before was diffusivity of the reactant in B. And now is the diffusivity of my product in that substance. That is now we are concerned with the product, of course, and the rate is once again, it's absorption. Yeah, the rate of absorption, this is mass transfer related, not how many moles you're reacting, but how many moles you're transferring. And this one here is the one that concerns us and will be the diffusivity of my product, let's say product, in the medium, divided by the distance here, okay? So if this distance is small, it will favor Kc. If the distance is a lot, it will not favor Kc. And if you don't favor Kc, you're going to have a rate very, very slow. Okay. And the diffusivity, of course, is proportionally, you want to have high diffusivity, so they go very fast. And yeah, essentially, it's everything, guys. Step number seven is how we end the set of, this set of steps to form the products from reactants using catalytic pellets. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you wanna keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.